After two weeks of COVID isolation, the first company to include female recruits in the 100-year history of MCRD San Diego officially stepped on the yellow footprints that signify the beginning of training. Your knees are slightly bent, your chest is raised, and your chin is tucked. Staff Sergeant Aisha Zant was brought in from Paris Island to be part of the first team of female drill instructors. As a drill instructor, she was blunt. They have something to prove. They're the only females that is training right now. This is the first female platoon. So they are going to be going against all their brothers inside of that whole company, Lima Company. So they're, they have to show everyone that they are worthy to be here. Day one, they pile out of their buses and are greeted by Zant and the other drill instructors. Some people haven't gotten yelled at at all their whole life. Um, they need to understand the difference. You're going to move when I tell you to move. You're going to do what I tell you to do. The Marines are the last service to maintain gender segregation. The Corps has been mandated by Congress to integrate women into boot camp. That includes opening up San Diego to women for the first time. I had no words at first, but now I take pride in that. You know, not many people get this opportunity here today. Like the other women, 19-year-old Tia Shataro, who grew up in the Marshall Islands, was officially scheduled to go to boot camp at Paris Island, South Carolina, before being randomly selected to come to San Diego. She's just starting to understand the significance. No, I don't think it's going to be tougher. I think it's just going to give me something, you know, to compete against, make me push harder, and I like that. This is still officially a test to show what the Marines need to expand boot camp to women in San Diego. The commanders at MCRD say for now, very few changes were put into place for this first class where men and women together embark on the 13 weeks it takes to become a U.S. Marine. Steve Walsh, KPBS News.